Okay, so the amplitude of the wave we should know is measured from the equilibrium position either to the maximum or from the equilibrium position to the minimum. So either to a peak or to a trough, but not from, uh, not from the top to the bottom. So the answer there is 2 centimeters. The wavelength is the uh, distance for one complete cycle of the wave. So if we take the distance between two peaks, then you see 16 minus 8 is 8. Or we could do the distance between two troughs, and 12 minus 4 is also 8. So the answer is 8. Uh, difference between transverse and longitudinal waves. Lots of you uh, could remember that transverse waves, it was something to do with being perpendicular, but you couldn't quite remember what. Well, let's label these axes. This is the flow of energy of the wave or you could call it the direction of the wave and this is the displacement of the wave and as you can see from the diagram for a transverse wave those two are perpendicular to each other for a longitudinal wave then we end up with areas of compression areas of rarefaction, areas of compression, areas of rarefaction, areas of compression. So the, the actual displacement of these, these uh, points from the equilibrium position is along the same direction as the flow of energy. Or the direction of the wave. Um, so again the uh, most of you knew what the uh, most of you knew that uh, for the transverse wave it was something to do with perpendicular and um, for the longitudinal wave it was something to do with parallel okay so we've just got to learn these keywords displacement and flow of energy to secure those marks two properties that are the same for all electromagnetic waves um, they have all got the same speed and uh, for extra brownie points if you know it it's uh, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second they can all travel in a vacuum and they're also all transverse waves as well um, to check for broken bones I'm sure many of you have already had one I know I've had lots in my life uh, x-rays are used to check for broken bones um, but not many of you knew exactly how an x-ray works now how it works is uh, if you um, go then they have an x-ray camera if you're having a chest x-ray for example you stand between the camera and the x-ray film which is behind you when the x-rays come out of the uh, x-ray machine then they get absorbed by the bone and that means um, that these areas here that you can see here okay, are where no x-rays have uh, hit the film and it's these darker areas here where the x-rays have hit the film okay so that explains uh, why that one was absorbed by the bone uh, the type of wave used for cancer treatment is uh, gamma radiation or gamma rays and it um, treats the cancer it kills the cancerous cells.